Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I have another handbag unboxing for you all. I love handbags. Like when I see a handbag, I get so excited. And for me, it can be a $10, $5 handbag all the way up to like a five, $6,000 handbag, which I know is a crazy, but I'm just a handbag lover. So let me share this handbag with you all. Okay, so we're jumping right into this unboxing and this is the handbag right here. I do want to show you that this handbag came in this box right here. It's just a regular cardboard box. But as you can see right here, this is a Brandon Blackwood handbag. So let me tell you a little about Brandon Blackwood because you know I love shouting out my black designers. So there you have it, let's start with that, black designer. So it says, the namesake brand was founded by Jamaican Chinese designer, Brandon Blackwood. Blackwood grew up in both New York and Tokyo with shorter stays around Southern Asia. After completing school, he launched a four piece collection of leather bags spring of 2015. So I'm just gonna skip a couple things. It says his initial four piece collection has grown into a contemporary leather goods line with a solid range of handbags, trunks, backpacks, and small accessories. The Brandon Blackwood philosophy has always been that one's accessory should be a mixture of classic and current sensibility. This approach to aesthetic leads to timeless silhouettes, high quality detailing, and unparalleled materials. Every Brandon Blackwood piece relays a strong juxtaposition between being trend forward yet lasting. There is a strong sensibility throughout every collection and the Blackwood customer is not afraid to accessorize it. Trust and believe I will not be afraid to accessorize this piece. And then there's a section about this brand that I do want to share and it says the brand celebrates quality artisanal skills from all over the world and the craftsmen behind them. Materials are always sourced responsibly. Products are then completed by exceptional fair trade craftsmen in Asia, Europe, and the U.S. unethical labor practices are never an option. The fact that he put that in there is so, so important and that's why I wanted to share that in this video. Okay, enough about the brand in itself and about Brandon Blackwood. Let's get into the actual piece. So like I showed you, this is the dust bag and it's just this, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like you're gonna get like a velvet or not that you're not gonna get, but it's not like it's a velvety, silky kind of dust bag, but it does say Brandon Blackwood New York right in the front. Um, and then this is the handbag. Guys, you've probably seen this bag everywhere. And if you haven't, then it needs to get everywhere. Like you need to see this on everyone's Instagram, TikTok, Snap, Twitter, anywhere you name it, this bag needs to be there. I'm gonna sidetrack really quick and say that you know, when I did my first Telfar unboxing, I said that that bag was the it bag. This bag also needs to be the it bag. So the key thing on this bag that we need to get out there, do you guys see that message? And systemic racism. Listen, this bag speaks volumes speaks volumes and I say that with such emotion if if it's not out there if you cannot see the emotion that I have in this bag and the message that this bag shares and puts out there then know that I am emotional when I am saying this and systemic racism if I can wear this bag everywhere I go like if they had this as a work bag, if they had this as a laundry bag, if they had this as a shopping bag, like when I do my grocery shopping, if they had this bag for everything, I would wear it everywhere, everywhere. You name it, I will be wearing this. Brandon, if you can hear me, 
You need to get them shopping bags out there. You need to get those laundry bags out there. You need to get, get this message any and everywhere, guys. Guys, I not only love this bag, and I'm going to share some details, but I love the message that this this bag has it's beautiful it's a message that needs to be out there not everyone will understand or or agree with this message but you know you're part of the problem so you need to get behind this message so let's get into the bag so as you can see and i've been holding on the bag this is a top handle handbag and the material on this bag is this quality canvasy kind of material and then on the side as you saw the end systemic racism is in this silver hardware on the sides you do also have some silver hardware which is where you're going to put your straps and talking about straps this is the strap that the handbag comes with so you can wear this crossbody or as a shoulder bag so yeah i'm i'm probably going to most likely use it just as a top handle but it's good to have the option so this is the interior i love that there's room in this bag like you can open it it comes stuffed with some paper and then just the irregular old you know those beads and then this is the interior right here so it is a snap closure there you go it snaps closed this is the interior it does have a pocket right here and then the rest is just an opening and then you have your feet right here i've said this before any bag that i get i love when there are feet because then you can put your bag down and you don't have to worry about your bag getting damaged wherever it is that you put your bag down guys this bag is beautiful i love that it's a neutral color it's this beautiful tan color so it's gonna go with any and everything and i need it to go with any and everything because i'm gonna be wearing it any and everywhere guys guys this bag i cannot say enough about it it's small yes but it's something that you can tell is small but you can feel a lot or fit a lot of items in here i'll probably do a what's in my bag with this bag just to show you how much fits in it because i can tell as someone who wears a lot of small bags i can tell that a lot will actually fit in this handbag guys hope you enjoyed this video definitely stand behind this message stand behind this message and if you don't understand this message if you have questions about this message ask if you don't want to ask do your research because it's out there whether you agree with it you deny it occurs which is absurd to me but what whatever the case may be if you don't understand this message ask or look it up please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well also remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below see you in the next video